Stop it. I'm so glad I turned the camera on for that. Objection! <laughs> hey guys, crew blind way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Kevin. I'm Shane. Eric! And we are back with Torchwood. This is episode tree. 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 Last time on Torchwood, no one can die, still. Ironically, trees is what they need. They need to legalize marijuana so they could use all of the... Uh, it's grass. The, yeah, the healing properties. People that smoke call it trees. Or should they call it grass? Nope. Um, they, uh, ignorance. Uh, they need, um... What did you say? <laughs> said ignorance! Oh. <laughs> it's like the sex of, uh, it's like the strippogram all over again. Yep. Um, they need to get painkillers because there's a lot of pain. Right? Yes. I can't do my usual thing because there's no death. There is no death. There's no almost death! No death! No death! <laughs> no. Yeah, they almost no killed Jack. Um, what, what is the name of the red haired Jilly? Yeah, Jilly. Jilly. Yeah, Jilly. What do you think Weird. of her, Aaron? She, I just like it. She's hot. <laughs> but, you know, like her attitude, man. I hate her attitude. She's got a bad attitude, yeah. dude. Like, Whenever like, you, she showed up last episode and Kevin and Kevin were like, Kevin, shut up, Jeff! Have we? <laughs> like, she seems a prey on misfortune. <laughs> Playing on misfortune. You yeah, know? I don't know what she's doing. I don't think we have enough information about her. There's yet. something about her. There's new. Yeah. Something new. Everything right. we've seen her in is kind of like she's trying to Julie. mold into being something that needs to be needed. So what is her ultimate goal? I'll have to yeah. judge her after I've learned that. Okay. If I ever she's do. A, and then you can judge her. They don't judge her harshly. Maybe. Or well. All right. Maybe she's like an alien, like special agent or something like that that's yeah. sent here to try and fix this issue because some other alien agency has been causing all of the non death no. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because you, 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 you became one <laughs> sure. That's like, that's, that's I was awesome. trying to think of, of cool words uh, to say, but then I was like, other cool words. I was just <laughs> sitting and listening, and as you kept going, I just like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> Team Torchwood, Rex, uh, they Rex are, Manning, yeah. Esther. Yes, and, and Esther. They are all underpaid uh, Esther. going somewhere, trying to get away from uh, the mole in the CIA, or is it the CIA? That's not the director, is it? It's a it's Newman. a director. Newman. It's Newman. Yeah, that's who it is. Yeah. It's Newman. But Newman! Newman is working to. Uh, he's working for somebody else. He's yeah. he's in Jurassic Park. I don't know his name. I call him Newman in that. Dennis Nedry. Yeah. Nedry. 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 Yeah. D his real name is Wayne. Cedric Diggory. No. It's not. Harry Potter is your shirt. Actually, I'm wearing a Harry Otter shirt, which is a reference to MHA. Mm. No, it's not. We all came out of it changed. But why do you think the green screen is strong. We need drugs more than ever. Yes. Oh man, he's gonna start getting people behind him now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who told you to set me up? <laughs> oh shit. Maybe a thousand years? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's literally Newman. The police are on their way. Esther's tracking them. <laughs> okay. New little team Torchwood. Yeah. Don't go deaf. What? Bam! Oh! Uh, uh, spike strip! This cop's gonna feel like a big idiot. So that's what that feels like. Yo, I hated those in Grand Theft Auto. Ah. What the heck? Anonymous. Fucking emojis, man. They're all crying. Emoji movie. Ah! Look at me! They all killed someone in prison, Aaron. No. Is that why they have a teardrop, Aaron? Is that what you're saying? No. Gosh, my God, everybody can clear you out. Not a chance. That account's been gathering interest since 1906. Jeez. Oh, nice. Could have used that last season. Everybody is panic buying, so I had to go to the petrol station, and all they have is crisps. Yeah, that's the first thing that goes. They call themselves the Soulless. Ooh. Soulless. Spooky. His handset was only contacted by one number. I traced it, but it hits a vine. Oh, man. Vine's dead. This lemonade's flat. It's lemonade. It's supposed to be flat. What fizzy, fizzy lemonade? And it's fizzy in the UK and flat in the US. What? Carbonated. They have fizzy lemonade? Yeah, it's awesome. I drink that out of a bottle all the time. It's in my fridge right now. You saw Lynn, that woman at the airport. She should have been paralyzed, but she just kept on going. Yeah. Got one! Why do that? Dang. Impatient. Man, he needs a sonic screwdriver. Yeah, he does. Yeah, well, maybe you want to drive on the other side of the street, mate. Oh, uh, what? She was driving on the left? Oh. How is she so <laughs> bad? Jeez! Shit. Poor guy. What was the clip on? It's a security guard. Yeah. Be like, Let's see what's in this. All FICO, the drug company. Yeah. It's paper. This is where Jilly um, was from. Is it really a pharmaceutical conspiracy to sell more drugs if people don't die? Bigger on the inside than the outside. Bigger on the inside. <laughs> they were ready for the miracle. Uh-huh. 
Firecore knew it was coming. They cause it or they respond, like insider trading. We're not even allowed to say attempted murder anymore because murder is impossible. The whole system's breaking what? down. It's crazy. It's fucking legislature and dude, this is crazy. <sighs> I would feel terrible the whole world has no idea what to do. What hospital are you from? Providence. Dr. Carrie Murphy. Yeah, I was a Catholic too once. I got better. We're talking <laughs> brain outside the skull. No skin, no face, suffering. Yeah, these are mistakes. Somebody got off a plane from New Delhi in Boston last night, and now we've got cholera. It's definitely well thought out, all these movie. different things. This is about doing the right thing for the state and for the people. Jackie's got a point. Mm -hmm. But I can't compromise you or your family, sir. You know I would never do that. Please don't be a dick, Langley. He's a dick. Yeah. And they tested him. Right. Yeah. Of course. All right. Well, I guess we do it Jack's way. Who the hell are you people anyway? Like, literally the only people you can trust. He, he has no one else at all. And he knows that. Don't be an idiot. I didn't need this. That was a stupid Yeah, I don't decision. want this little plot, this little subplot. This really hates the UK. Mortal man. Mortal me. <laughs> Home. You'd be arrested on the spot. And that'd be worse than this? Yeah. I can save. Uh, you could just be arrested and killed. Yeah. Well, you couldn't. But... Arrested and tortured. You give up now and you prove that Rex was right. Yeah, don't do that. I would do anything to prove that Rex was wrong. He was wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guy's just jumping up and down. <laughs> Damage that code. I'm jumping over this bar to protect it. The argument is that a life sentence is now potentially infinite. Yeah. Tomorrow, you got Oswald Baines and our Manchester. Infinite punishment for a finite crime? Yeah, but how can someone get the crime now? Like, they, they can't commit the. They can't commit the crime anymore. Well, you can get life for stuff like raping. Yeah. I mean, I guess you get the person with, uh, like, that strangled the wife. Now the wife is just alive, but yeah. you know, nothing. So it's still just assault? So, I mean, that's that's not finite. That's an infinite, terrible fate. Yeah. I guess I mean people that did commit murder. That are already still, That are still in prison. Like, it's an amendment to a previous sentence. Uh, dude, no. Dude, his face can get recognized anywhere he goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Rex went, isn't it? Who else does he have? Probably. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. You waited a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to dress this again. Dress yourself first. Taking me into your home? You know, we both have the power to make a case against one another. You broke in here. I'm exhausted. Me too. <laughs> Let's get Rex exhausted. Get that R. Get that to the beginning of exhausted. <laughs> no, no! I can't die! Oh shit! Well, I'll show this on Doctor Who. Can't die now, don't need nothing in between. Uh -huh. That's not how it works anymore. Lifetime of regret just got even longer, that's all. Yeah, it's a good point. We're just going all in. Yes, so. Fucking like miracle day. I guess this is on stars, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Aaron. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, you already know where my head was going? Yeah. Hey, let's go rob him. Might go kill him. Or try to. I tried to, yeah. You just took a picture of him on your phone and you're gonna kill him? That's a terrible idea. They don't look like they're smart. <laughs> you don't wanna be recognized, don't put your face on TV! Huh? Let's get him. Let's get him? Well, shit. If I was that guy, man. You gotta get a weapon or something. Yeah, you should have stayed with a cop. How's he gonna get a weapon? He's a convicted felon. Go home right now. The cops are gonna whoop his ass. they pull out their guns. Give me a lift. It's just off 278. Sure. Yeah, get in. Go get a hat or something. Shit. Yeah. Sunglasses. Uh, so they don't do that. Yeah. You think they're taking him to this hotel? No, it's just the back way. And what are you talking about? It's. No. It's a, there's a little. They're gonna get that gate. Yeah. And the hotel's right there. They don't look like good dudes. <laughs> no. You should have run faster, Oswald. 
So I feel bad for him. I'm trying, but I don't. You break in here, threaten to expose me for helping you, and now you want me to what? Spy for you? We need a doctor on Team Torchwood. Okay, they could have warned us. Think about your mother. I mean, you let her die. She... You let her die. Oh. I'm taking a shower. Let yourself out. Mm -hmm. This is one of those times, right, Shane? I should do this on those needles. Just like the old days. We don't need anyone, do we? Sorry, I... We don't need Rex. I had to bounce a signal off Paraguay, but it's to say thanks. Oh, oh yay! Baby. Right, Gwen, Gwen. 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 <laughs> Gwen. <laughs> He's still on the phone. We don't need anybody but us, right? Right, Gwen? Right. Hey, take him back to his hotel. Yeah, throw him out now. <clears throat> I mean, they could have put... Like the river or something, <laughs> he'd be alive down there, you know. Cop. Oh, no, Jenny. It's, her. it's such a strange character for us to like be following, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's just so obtuse. Like, cause you're meant to kind of like almost root for him at this point, you know. This guy, man, it sucks. I uh, hope he think he gets his help, you know. They did the most irredeemable person and challenged themselves to write a character arc for him. So they just look like contact lenses, uh, huh? Hey. Hey, don't touch my pills. I need that for legitimate pain. I need them too. You are an impaled. <laughs> you should have seen the other guy. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're uh, isomorphic. Biometrically tuned into me and me alone. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Anyone that's going on this mission, it's got to be me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think of forgiveness as a cure. Hmm. They're using him and his news and everything to yeah. do what they need to do. And using the medical people to do what they need to do. Mm-hmm. It's all ploys. Who was that woman? She works for me. Are you at the meeting yet? She works for me. Yeah. <laughs> of course he's done that. And that's why later today, I will be introducing legislation to make all prescription drugs Over the counter. available without a prescription. Shit. All drugs, just using... Yep. I mean, drug is such a broad term. Oh, shit! You gonna get that? It's not mine. Oh. Uh, so oh, found... shit! Who's there? I wouldn't say anything. I know. I swear. They could have traced that handset. Yeah, I know. Come on, we gotta get the hell out of here. Out of D.C. Stop it. Yes! Oh, that pose. The truth is, she flaunted it. Oh, that was the best moment of my life. Oh, glad I got his ass beat. Oh, this police officer. What are you doing? Shoot his dick. Boys. He's got boys? Uh, five court boys. CIA boys. I'm not calling for free drugs. I'm calling for free access to drugs. Uh, the message. World. Did you see Oswald Dates? Oh, man. Did you touch him? Hmm. Are these soulless finding a person? Yeah. Yeah, I hate that mask. Why? I hate it. You're meant to. Walk with me. Just like the conversation. Hey, <sighs> Gwen, in her head. Okay. <clears throat> well, I wrote down with Jilly like showing up more and more. I was like, okay, so they're gonna get his support for pushing the meds on just... on the news because he's all over the news now, and then yeah, they're gonna he's use a... the doctors. To try to help push and sway that that's what yeah. they're gonna do. That's why she's going for like uh, the one woman. Yeah. It's just it's, it's such a stretch that he would be like the face of that message. Like that enough people would would be like, yeah, he's right. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I buy it. It's just such a stretch. Like that's what they went with. That was her plan. You it, know? it is kind of a stretch because I mean, there just be so many. Like, just like the people you see on the street who want to beat yeah. him up, the cops. Like there's so many people who would associate. Him with being a murderer and a pedophile, and I therefore mean, associating yeah. FICORP. I mean, there is something to be said about, like, uh, you know, there are, like, these strange, like, you know, primarily women that will, like, uh, contact, like, serial killers and stuff in prison, and they become mm -hmm. obsessed, and, you know, because they see them, as, they see these guys as powerful men, you know? Yeah. Like, the man, like, Manson, <laughs> you know? Can you imagine if Manson got out? And then became the guy on Oprah fucking talking about fucking buy drugs, you know? I don't know. It just seems like such a... I mean, obviously, he doesn't have... Man, Manson never killed anybody. He just manipulated them, you know? Yeah. This guy's almost worse. Maybe it's not because of 
who he is. It's just the fact that he's a hot topic for news yeah. now, and that's like why they, they're focusing on him. They got a lot of people, I yeah. guess, right? I mean, there's yeah. so much. Big thing. There's so much news already with like people yeah. not dying. Like, what what can you have on the news that's going to be a big hit? Well, it's one of the guys who was scheduled to die but didn't die, yeah. and that was a big controversy. Over sure. Him. He might not be the best spokesperson you want for your company, but he's probably the biggest person in the news right now. Yeah. Yeah. To ha- have just yeah. because he has, I, I guess, and I everybody's assu- aware yeah. of him and looking at him. Yeah, I assume they have, like you said, multiple, like people out there, pushing their drugs. You know what I mean? Yeah, but just like who's like Jilly for one thing. I mean, she's kind of a smaller part of it. I mean, this is just one location that they're meeting up with a bunch of people. They probably have organizers like Jilly, like well, in every Hong continent. Kong, yeah, Singapore, all, all LA, the world. DC, Dallas. This corporation, did they cause it, or is this something? Are they taking advantage of it? What do you guys think? Uh, they they had to have known about it beforehand. Yeah, because they've yeah, been they've been around so they for were decades. At least involved in in the process yeah. of it happening. It's just one of those things where it's like I have information. Did I like? I could I could get information like you know insider trading. You can get information and profit from it. Yeah. Like maybe they knew about something, didn't tell anybody else, let it happen, prepared, or they actually caused it to happening, or you know pretty much snake oil. You know. I mean, I feel like the amount that they prepared and everything. I feel like they prepared. So I I think they did it. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, somehow could, they're. If you were told that uh, there was going to be a shoot or a, a food shortage in a year, you could prepare to try to be ready for a food shortage, regardless of if you caused it or not. Mm-hmm. If you just have the information, you'd still just like, well, we're not. Gonna, I'm not going to share it with anybody. That way, I have all the food. Yeah. And, and now, I'm king. and now, yeah, I'm yeah. king. I'm in charge. I can divvy up the food if I need to. Everyone has to look to me for what they need. Like now, they're on top of it all because they have. What everyone needs. Yeah, I don't think it rules anything out. It's just I'm trying to see if there's any other clues as to like what else could it be. I feel like they're trying to take away power from the government. They're they're minimizing the government's actions and yeah. everything. Like if if they have the the supply of everybody's demand, they can just do whatever they want basically. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. and not help people. It's the language of propaganda because usually you have like when you're talking about a government that's trying to throw out something like, you know, let the government take care of you. Yeah. I.e. make them a parent figure. You don't care for yourself, the government will take care of you. He's he's using the same language but for the Psycorp, whatever it's called. He's like, you know, they can take care of us. And I like how his message switched from free to just not prescribed, you know? That way it starts out like, well that's ridiculous and then you're like, okay, that one makes more sense. But the one that you say makes more sense would be just as ridiculous if you heard that first. You know? Yeah. But it's it's the uh, like bargaining mm-hmm. yeah. with people's understanding their their brains and everything. Free drugs. We're not gonna get free drugs. Well, I don't mean. I just mean no prescriptions needed. And like, oh, yeah. that seems reasonable. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what does that do in terms of like just like drug policy in general? Because a lot of drugs like this, like, are some drugs are just straight up heroin. You know? Yeah. Like, if you can do that, do you have to have a license? Like, I guess you could still. Do you have to be licensed to sell it? It would, it would basically be like every, it'd be like going to Walmart and instead of having to go to the pharmacist, you just go to the over-the-counter section. Yeah, I can and go to the buy, gas station and yeah, buy you just buy whatever you want. Yeah. Maybe some places carry more things than others. Yeah. So it can kind of be regulated a bit more, but like, you don't have to go to like a pharmacy, but instead of having to have a prescription, you can buy it from you the You can just go to the pharmacy. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they'd have things like, uh, I don't know if around here, but I know there's there's been places that like, you can only buy so much of certain things, and if you do buy too much, it red flags it, and mm-hmm. like police will come after oh, you. Oh like, yeah, you're like, gonna build meth like or something like that. Ibuprofen. So like you can't yeah. buy all twenty ingredients yeah. in bulk in one place. Or like, hey, wait. So you got like. So you're out. making meth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they might, a, have, uh, they might have something like that. Like if they had the same person yeah. coming so much, but who's to say you're not in pain Tylenol. and don't need it? You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a uh, there's a good documentary about Florida where they didn't have that system, and a guy would just take his prescription. To like 20 different pharmacies, and, and they didn't have any kind of central, like, record to check if this far, if, if this person has been prescribed this before. So like, people were just getting high all the time, you know, just going over, just going down, using their prescription like 50 times. Good man. And it was crazy. Good man. Rex, good man. Yeah. Good man. All right. Good man. <laughs> well, uh, uh Fried- Friedkin. Friedkin. Yeah, he's fried. Been- Fried, yeah, it's spelled yeah. fried. It's spelled fried. I just love it. Yeah, because yeah. Newman, it's spelled fried. He's basically been in control 
I'll just, I mean, uh, but, but he's been controlled by this company for a number of years. Yeah, they they said it's these people decades. for decades. Are they yeah. implying that it is Psycorp or is it someone Fi else? Psycorp Fi could have I mean? been. They could be another player in it, and it could yeah. be someone else entirely over top of them yeah. on the phone. I mean, decades would make sense with like you know, a, a pharmaceutical company. I don't think it's going to be like the president of a pharmacy company. It's going to be like the guy at the top that we're going to see. Oh, it's him. He's a bad guy. I think it's going. It's going to be the senator man on the screen. That guy. Who's a guy with the HIV medicine? What's his name? He's a prison now. Oh, the guy that was yeah, like, Johnson? people. No, Aaron. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he's not in prison. It's a South Park. He's a prison. Uh, it's a South Park reference. It's a money. With an S. He bought a company. It's not a cure. It's, it's, it's a, a treatment. treatment. It's a treatment. But he, he, well, he bought the patent to a pill and then raised it by seven thousand percent. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it was like ten bucks a pill, and he made like three hundred dollars a pill. And his defense shit. is like, well, research and development costs a lot. It's like, yeah, but. I mean, but the pill was already being offered in its complete state. And people stage. need it to live. Like, yeah. you'll, you'll be fine as long as you take this pill for the rest of your life. And he up to by like 7,000% or something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Literally. And he's in prison now. He's in prison now. Sinkle or cycle or something. Well, the first thing I thought of yeah. whenever you guys said about it was a South Park thing. Whenever, like, it was like Magic Johnson. He was, like, blending up money. <laughs> and that's how he stayed alive. Yes. <laughs> so was, like, money was the cure. <laughs> the cure, he found out, was money. Well, no, it's because he was sleeping on money. Is that what it was? He has such a punchable face, too. You saw the picture of this guy? Oh, the, the HIV guy? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Michael something. Yeah, I, I'm like, there's a documentary on like Netflix. Shekel or something like Shekel, that? Shekel, yeah, or something like that. There's a, yeah. do, there's a Netflix documentary about it, actually. Oh, yeah? They made him look, like, really terrible, which I want to watch. Which it. He is. He is. But he they, is very they, terrible. Cartoonishly bad. Like, I want to yeah. watch it. Cartoonishly bad. Martin Shakrilli. Fuck, you guys didn't have either name right. S-H-K-R-E-L-I. See, see, I want to see a picture on it. It's not <laughs> his fault. <laughs> what a punchable face. That's his face. Anyway, he yeah, was talking to some chick on Tinder, like desperate, and she like blasted him on social media. Like, Students put all the put all the. T she did the thing I hate that women do, but I hate but I hate him, so it's okay. Like, she like put posted all the screenshots. Everything he said. Seven hundred and fifty dollars per pill. Per pill. Per yep. pill. Students, it was like ten dollars a pill. Students recreate Martin's seven hundred and fifty dollar HIV drug for two dollars. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I hate when they just hike it up because I mean, we can't. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the problem in the American uh, health system anyway. I mean, if you go and look at, like, records of hospitals and how much they're spending, like, a test tube holder, like, just the thing that holds the test tubes is, like, $3,000 because they can pay for it. They can get it. Their insurance, the insurance companies will pay for it. That's how much they'll charge. Mm -hmm. They have all that money going on. It's the same thing happens in the military half the time, you know? Yeah, it's, like all, food it's all subsidized stuff. purchases. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll just spend it as much as possible because that's how they'll get that money. Yeah. If they don't spend it, they don't get it. Yeah, then, then their budgets will be cut next year. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I mean, there were stories of, like, uh, the Gulf War and, mm -hmm. like, Operation Freedom and stuff like that, where they were literally just putting a bunch of tanks and trucks and stuff as close together as possible and then shooting it yeah. with as big a bomb and, and mm -hmm. guns and stuff as possible to destroy it because yeah. it was going to cost more for them to ship it back to the States and refit it than it would for them to buy new equipment yep. and ship it over again. It's crazy. It's insane. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff happens. Like yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars of hardware was being destroyed yep. on orders. 50% hmm. of your taxes go to the military. Yep. What else, though? I, something, I don't pay taxes now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who doesn't pay taxes. Present. Plessy Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> Such an old fucking joke. I know. You know, with him, it's, it's like 10 years old. The funniest thing about him is it's not that, because if you don't pay taxes, usually it's like, all right, well, you owe this much. You don't have to go to jail. Sometimes you do. Like when Wesley Snipes is like, fuck it, I'm never paying taxes. I hate America. And they're like, all right, well, you're going to jail now. <laughs> like, it wasn't like, you know, with, with him, it wasn't like, you know, you didn't pay, so thus you must go to jail. It was that his attitude yeah. was like, I ain't fucking paying taxes. You know what I am? What's his knife? I hate America. <laughs> he didn't say I hate America. Yeah. He just hated, like, the system, you know? Yeah. yeah. He, 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 and he fought it, and he lost. I, I hate the system, too. And, and the guys who survived in Armageddon, they never had to pay taxes. That's true. Dude, yeah, we never want to pay taxes again. Yeah. They never want to pay taxes. Ever. Did you guys see on the news when they had the one thing? Like, there's one thing about, yes. like, Egypt... Blaming the Western miracle and stuff like that, but there's also yeah. another one that was like death in Oklahoma called a fake. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I just thought it was funny that people were like, like, there was a death in Oklahoma, like it was a fake. Like, that's the miracle now when someone does die. Yeah. You know? yeah. 
I, just, I was just reading some of those. They were kind of neat. Jeez. Well, India and China are putting contraceptives in the water. That was a conversation they were having now, about, yeah, it's like... That's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, which... Well, what, I think what there's I, been, like, scandals and stuff like that where they've been doing that now, before mm -hmm. there's, like, a, a life crisis. Certainly conspiracies. The yeah. reason they were talking about that, though, was... I didn't even think about it, but... Um, what, spontaneous abortions, where just something happens and the baby dies in the, in the yeah. mother's womb. Yeah. Aren't dying? No. Yeah. Like, that's terrible. Well, I mean, the thing they were talking about, like, the brain forming outside of yeah. the skull and like, stuff like Like, usually, like, that. a spontaneous abortion is because the it, it, if the it's baby's not born, viable. it's not going to yeah. yeah, yeah. be a viable kid. It's, yeah. So it, it dies. But. Well, it would have died naturally without the... Without the thing, yeah, but the, that's the what they're saying. Well, I know it's what I'm saying, but that's why, like, I would say, like, you mean like spontaneous, like a miscarriage? Yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah. an abortion. Abortion, no, is like a, an medically, it's case. called a spontaneous yeah. abortion, but yeah. yeah, typically people call it a miscarriage. Yeah, but it's it's it, it terrible. You have a kid yeah. with like its brain on the outside, and it's got a it's got no nose or something, and that's just I don't like know. It's just big. no nose. That's it. <laughs> I don't want this kid. <laughs> I mean, honestly, to be fair, though, that's the one thing I can respect. Not one. I, I love Torchwood. But, like, one thing I do respect about Torchwood is that they'll just take it to a logical endpoint, you know? Because the first episode, I was like, what if you lose your head? <laughs> Try to think about that. Hey, fucking cut this guy's head off. You know, there's like, he's looking at him. I'm like, well, I'm the idiot. <laughs> yeah. You put with a, a kid with no I nose still, yeah. and me together, it'd make two normal kids. Right. The only thing that... No, he will be normal. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the only thing that we push that they haven't addressed is, like, what if you fell into, like, a vat of sulfuric acid or something? Where you just literally dissolved. Well, yeah. What about when they were talking about the... Yeah. Uh, All right, what was now. the... Uh, some place, I forget what it was, and they were, like, bashing in the heads and running them over to bulldozers and burying, like, pieces of yeah. people. Yeah. Like, so, and I, after they were talking about them, I'm like, so wait, were they... Dead? No, I don't think they were dead. You no, know, like they were like smashing them into bits and then burying them with a bulldozer. Like, okay. Like if I cut my pinky off, that pinky is still alive too. Yeah, I it's guess. still living tissue. Like now, everything wants to live. That one arm was like yeah, all the arm cut and, and it was still moving it, but there was nothing else attached sure. to it. Which it could it be still just. Move. It's just like. Random like muscular and and that stuff. looked like it was more of like a is that normal? Thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The rock. I, well, yeah, it yeah. wasn't What's making any gift gestures. No, but it didn't seem like it was like a <laughs> like a twitch. Yeah. It seemed yeah. more like it was like a, <laughs> like a contraction, <laughs> like like this, <laughs> like a click. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's seen. just an arm with nothing else. It's just like oh, well, have you guys you seen are. a? When I was, uh, I'm sorry. What's the the new Cloverfield movie? Like the brand new one? That yeah, I saw it. Did you see I that? saw it on Netflix. Yeah. You know what I'm talking it. about when it comes yeah. to like, Wait, like this, a, this, that kind of stuff. The series or the movie? The brand new Netflix movie that came out like at the Super Bowl. Oh, I've yeah. seen it now. Okay, because I, I, I watched it that night and that had a moment. It was like, whoa, okay. That's it was, one without it was strange, John Goodman. It was a strange right? movie. Yeah. Uh, not, that's no. the thing without John Goodman. The John Goodman one was fucking terrific. I want to watch that. That was the best one. It's called the Cloverfield Paradox. Paradox. Okay. So there's Cloverfield, Ten Cloverfield Lane, and then Cloverfield Paradox. Yeah. Paradox might be the worst one, but it's definitely the most interesting. I think it's the most interesting. <laughs> I, it was a lot of I did not expect what It was fun. Went. It was definitely yeah. fun. I don't want to say watch, it was bad. I it, should watch those. It was dumb fun. Are they scary at all? No. Are they well, suspenseful? The, se the second at one all? is suspenseful as hell, for sure. I mean, the, John if, Goodman. If you're scared of giant monsters, the second one is the first one. Well, are, there, are there kids involved? No. The second one is the it's, second, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's scary. It's tense. Yeah. I may be scared if you're a person in the movie. Gotcha. It was some, yeah. So I'm watching Doctor Who episodes and stuff. And Melanie's like, ah! <laughs> grabs me. Well, like, stop. I hate that. I hate that. Speaking of hand gestures, I was on vacation at the lake and I kept waking up early and like there's just this cabin just had no wind, no. Uh, like, it was all one big window. Oh. So like so had I, no walls. Yeah, I basically put the pillow on my face. Like I wake up at six in the morning, just can't get back to sleep. So I sit there like this. My cousin kept, like, it told me, he told me on the last day, he's like, you kept waking up and you're just sitting there like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're sitting there, like, I was just sitting there, like, pissed off, like, I couldn't go back to sleep. I was, like, having anxiety, Wait, like, knowing I'm going to lose my sleep. Were you asleep like this? No, I wasn't. You were just awake doing this? Well, because I, I looked at my watch periodically, too. Yeah. Yep. I just yeah. think it would have been funny. You were just waiting. Because as soon funny. as, like, one kid wakes up, because we bought, like, 10 kids, like, 15 kids, we're all there. As soon as one kid wake, wakes up, there's no way I'm getting back to sleep. So yeah. I, I kept getting more anxiety, Ugh. playing the hour game. Like, I'm going to get less and less sleep now. I was just thinking about, like, you you do fall asleep, but your fingers keep doing this while you actually do fall asleep. Back no, that's what like, my dad would do. Bit. He'd fall asleep with, with one eye open, literally. Like, <laughs> like look at me. I'm sitting 
I'm like trying to sneak by him, like looking at him. <laughs> you, know? you don't know if he's looking at you or Yeah, not. I don't know. <laughs> well, the brain like naturally tracks motion and stuff like that. Like people, even when I'll they're... I'll tell you what. What? I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, I, just so people I fucked with when they're sleeping. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like my buddy Cody, like I fuck with his eyelids and he's, you know, he's not even doing REM sleep. He just... You know, he's sitting there like this, he's kind of looking up, and I'm sitting there looking at him, take my dick swinging around, and nothing. Well, I mean, there's got to be something he can look at, though. I know, he had to back up to see the whole thing. That's probably what it was, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, because your dick's so big. Yeah. You have anything else torture related? <laughs> well, Kill, J- Joey Kissinger, man. Jilly. She's, Jilly. She's, she's a sexy woman. She's a sexy lady. I did want to kind of. Pan, oh, I, I was gonna say. Go ahead, though. I, I did kind of want to write. Oh, uh, really? Talk, no, you know, the pan. <laughs> I wanted to talk about how uh, Oswald, like, you know, he. What was the, the scene with him and Jack? Whenever he's like going, like, I'm a super fucking evil guy, and yeah. then Jack kind of said, like, Oh, you want to get executed? Yeah. Like you, you're looking for a death. So he was saying that so that Jack would try to kill him? Yeah. Or was he being honest? Or was he being honest? <laughs> or was he saying the most terrible, terrible things he could possibly think of to say about That's what I kind of took. But That's what I took from it. But then he knows he can't die, and he's also got, he's got other guys and other shit going on. Yeah. It, was just, it just seemed like, I kind of liked it in the sense of like, oh, okay, because I was... He's like, seeking death. I was like, shoot his dick. I hate that dude. I'm glad he got beat up. And then it's like, oh, no, he wants to be killed because he, he feels, feels bad. So yeah. But you can't die. But then it's and like... now I'm going to get the whole world... Pay for yeah. these money, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but you can't then, die or just get rich. But then it was like, well, take that recording, you know, beat this guy up, send him away. Like, I'm going to broadcast it. So oh, was, he, idea. was he ever worried? I don't know. Or was it, I don't know. Like, was he getting, did he want those cops to kill him? I kind of like the idea that now he just wants death, but he, he can't, he can't get it. Couldn't they just like, uh, I don't know. If I wanted to, like, you know, I know he can't die, but he could fucking put himself the bottom of the ocean or some shit. Yeah, but then you're just living down there, nothing. Imagine being... Uh, stuck in like a chest and being thrown above the ocean when you're still alive. Whatever. No, Bootstrap Bill. Okay. That's what happened to him. And then the David Jones came to him. I know, but like it, he's at the bottom of the ocean. The pressure, you know, the darkness. Yeah, it was a locker. It was a locker. No. Yeah, it was Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> no. They sent him to the bottom of the locker. See? It's like high school for you all over again, Aaron. <laughs> Wait, what? Has One. there ever been a good Oswald? <laughs> Oswald Cobblepot. Patton Oswald. Yeah, he's good. Isn't that the guy that shot the president? <laughs> What? That's Lee Harvey. That's Lee Harvey Oswald. 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 And did he? I don't know. I don't know. Sure. It could did have been he? Guys in the knoll. Could have been the lady with the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you know, it, what, what I thought was like the funny cultural things. You know, like pants and trousers, and she was wasn't paying attention, so she's driving on the left side of the road. <laughs> things I thought. Uh, that was gas like, station. Chips. ATM. What do they call a gas station? Petrol station. Because they don't call it gas; they call it petrol. Oh, ATMs. Mm-hmm. They called it a cash point. Cash money. I would, like, I would like to call it that. Cash money, money, money. Cash money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cash point or whatever it was, yeah. Cash um, check, cash. I mean, he's been collecting interest in some accounts since 1906. So is that only in America? Because he could have used that in the fucking last season when he needed money. No, I don't know. It's possible. Okay. I don't know. I mean, he, he, he's an American, he said, right? Yeah. Okay. Sparkling lemonade, that's all I drink. Carbonated lemonade? Yeah, I, I get this glass bottle which are this tall. I mean, I've had it, but it's not the only lemonade I get. Like, it's only, like, I think that feels, for me, that's more the norm. I mean, I don't... Really? really? Yeah. You know, when just, you make lemonade... It's not carbonated. Well, lemonade? If, unless I make it, but I don't really make it ever. I mean, lemonade, I mean, I don't know. Like, okay, like, Mel, look, I, at, we have I, lemonade I packets. To. You know what I do? I buy sparkling water to throw it in there. Really? Well, I'm yeah. more, it, like, I super, like, fucking rich, like, like <laughs> mental <mentorship. laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm rich. But no, I, I don't know, like, whenever I think of it's lemonade... Like a, it's like a bucket, you know, Dollar General. That's like saying lemonade, the carbonated tea for me. See, I kind of drink that shit, though. Yeah. Did what about tea with milk? Yeah. No, tea with milk is really good. I don't like it at all. Yeah, milk to most things. I was watching the thing, and someone was like, here you go, I got your tea, I put some coffee in there for flavor. Okay. <laughs> and I was like... Hell. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> they got tea. He's like, I put some coffee in there for sure. flavor. <laughs> What's this from? This is some other show that we were watching. Oh, okay. It was funny. Last thing I, I have for this episode is that you could tell this episode aired on stars. I got some sexy times in here. Yep. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was where Spartacus was from. Some booties. Yeah. Some booties, Aaron. What yeah, math were you in doing in your head? <laughs> Aaron was looking at the angle in which they were doing it, and he was like, I'm like, Aaron, just let it go. But like, they showed Rex and the doctor, and I was like, okay. And then they showed 
Jack and Brad doing the exact same thing, and I'm like, but yeah. when did you have to like be for? Yeah, and Eric's. All right, guys, that's it for Torchwood. Uh, if you guys want to see next week's episode, make sure you check out patreoncom blindwave or blindwave.net, where uh, you can find early access available there. Make sure you subscribe for all of our Doctor Who stuff coming out weekly. Yep. Oh. Oh. Low sodium. <laughs>